Hello, everybody. Welcome to ResinNet. I'm happy to have you all here with me today. Um, today, I am so excited to try this. I've had this mold for a little bit, and I'm excited to finally give it a try. This is what it looks like, or what it will look like when it is all done. Okay, it says family, the ones we live with, laugh with, and love. And then underneath here, it has all 12 months of the year. And then it's got some little heart. Um, oh gosh, what do you call those? And then it's got some little hearts here with a hole on each end and little circles. And we are going to have so much fun with this and I'm excited to get it going. So it's, I'm still here in Oregon. It's a little bit of a chilly day today. Um, I've got my resin warming up and I'm going to go ahead and get my eight ounces made up and then I'll be back and we'll get this started. Okay. So my resin is made up and it is sitting over there. Um, I'm going to let the bubbles rise up a bit. And in the meantime, I will show you what colors we're going to be using. So I want to do my letters. Since these are all raised, it's going to be pretty simple, I think, to come in and use my gold leaf deco color pen, okay, for my lettering. I'm going to mix these two Sig Wong mica powders together um, to create kind of a navy blue, okay? And then for my little... Um, hearts and circles here. I'm going to be using, I'm, tr I'm going to try to create a little bit of a creamy color for my hearts and then maybe the same blue but with a silvery gray to make kind of a dusty blue for my rounds. Okay, because my plan is to do all of my girl names and dates in the hearts and all of my boy names and dates in the circles. Okay, so this is kind of hard to see with this white background. I don't know if I put it on a different, yes. Definitely makes a difference if I have a different color. So I'm going to bring out a different color really quick. Okay, I'm gonna place this green mat. Oh, that makes a big difference. <laughs> I can definitely see it better as I'm trying to do the coloring of my letters here. So let me get my pen going. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start going over each of these letters and the little decorations here in gold. I think it's going to be just fine doing it this way. I was going to do, I was going to paint it on with mica powder, but, um, and that works really well. If you haven't tried that before, it does work well. You just have um, definitely a bit more of a cleanup when you do that. It tends to kind of scatter and, you know, make its way all around. So far, so good. And kind of see what we're what we've got going on here so far okay and I just work from one end to the next so I can hopefully avoid getting my sleeve or my hand caught in there Okay, so that does take a little bit of time, but really not too bad. As you can see, this all looks really pretty. So now um, I am ready to go ahead and mix up my color here. Let's um, move this out of the way for just a minute. And use this 
Okay, so I'm going to start with just a little bit of alcohol in my resin there. I have just a little bit of micro bubbles up at the top. But uh, I'm using my uh, heat mat from Let's Resin to warm up my part A, um, which did a pretty good job, really, of warming that up. But um, let's go ahead and get this color started. I'm trying to think about how much resin we're going to need for just this top section here. It's not very thick, maybe about maybe a half an inch or so, maybe a third. Um, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to guess that it's probably going to take close to this eight ounces. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this into my mixing cup here. this all out of here. Okay, that's pretty good on that one. Got most of that up out of there. Get a paper towel. All right, let's take a craft stick here and we are going to start with this color of blue. I want this a nice opaque color. That's a lot of resin, so it's probably gonna need quite a bit. And then I don't want it to stay this bright, even though this is a really pretty blue. I want it to be a bit darker than this for my background. It's a really pretty color. Let's see here. Can see this here so pretty okay so I just really love the blues okay so even though this would be a really pretty color even this combined with that for the plaque part I think I am going to add just a bit of my black mica powder just to darken it up just a bit I really want it to be more of kind of a navy blue So we'll try this. Might have to use my bigger stick though, I'll tell you that's a little popsicle stick is kind of hard to it's kind of hard because the handle's not very long, so it's kind of hard to stir it real well. And um, okay, so here it is. Can you see how it darkened up? Not sure if it's showing in the lighting or not, but it's definitely darker than it was when we first started. So let's go ahead and start pouring this really kind of carefully. Usually I like to have a cup that has, um, that I can kind of pinch together but I don't have that right now. And I've got my little tiny paper cups, but not my bigger ones that I can do that with. So I'm just gonna kind of hope that this will go in between all of these little letters with no problems. Might take my spatula and just kind of, um, Push it down just a bit after I get this poured over some of those sections just to kind of make sure it gets inside of there. Okay, so hopefully this will kind of um, 
just sit in here and be okay. I'm going to just kind of shake it side to side and kind of tap it. I don't know that I want to take my, um, don't know that I want to take my spatula and squish it down after all because um, I've got that that uh, gold leaf pin on there, so I don't want it to all come off. So I see I've got a little bit more room. I don't want to go over. I don't want to go over at all. I don't want any of these little pegs to be covered up because we are definitely going to be using those. And so I made up. That was eight ounces, and that took about seven of it okay so i'm going to go ahead and just give a quick spray alcohol on there whoops and um let that sit for a moment i've got a little bit of this in here so what i might do is add i was i was going to use a bit of um my silvery uh, silvery gray with this, but I might be able to get away with just going ahead and using this for my round circles. And that is going to be enough to make quite a few of them, I think. So I can add a little bit of the silvery white to this and kind of lighten it up. I think I will do that. And um, I'm going to try that over the cast and craft, you know, instead of the cast and craft. So here is this, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick stir, kind of away from my blue there, my darker blue. Okay, so that definitely turned it kind of more of a silver. You see here? Turned it kind of a silver, lost a little bit of the blue, but you know what? I think that's going to be okay. I can add a little bit of... Let's see, I'll add just a little bit of this blue. I'm gonna add just a couple drops of this Cast and Craft blue and see if we can just get a, just a little bit of that blue back in there. There we go, this is gonna be kind of more of a silvery blue, even though <laughs> we've got gold and a darker blue, but that's okay. This needs to be light enough that I can use a black pen on it to um, write on it for my boy names, okay? Okay, so there we go. I think that's gonna be light enough. Pretty sure, how about just, <laughs> I'm gonna add one drop of white cast and craft after all. Just really wanna make sure that it's light enough um, for the pen to show through. Okay, this is a little bit better. This is kind of more of the color I was thinking here. Okay, so that was um, just kind of taking our leftover resin without having to mix up more for this part and just kind of adding colors to it until we got the color that I was really looking for. Okay, so this is gonna work out well. I think it's that blue is going to go well with this color of kind of our darker navy blue. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray a little alcohol in, um, in these round circles. See if I can kind of uh, avoid getting some bubbles there. And I'm going to go ahead and just pour really actually, this is where I probably would benefit from using my little paper cup that I could pinch that together. This resin is just kind of going from cup to cup. But when I'm doing a small area like these little round dots, I really want to have control of my resin. I don't want it just kind of going, you know, like that. I don't want it just kind of going all over the place. I can still get it all out of here. This is where I really miss my water bottles. When I cut off water bottles. I can put quite a bit of resin in there and still be able to squeeze the sides and have really great control over where I'm pouring. All right, let's go ahead and just start pouring about in here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray one more spray of alcohol in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour these. These do not have to be all that thick, okay? Uh, the little discs are 
just as thick as this as this here, but I feel like I'm going to go about half full. I would like them to all to be about the same size. So right now I'm going about half full on each of these. I could even maybe go in, maybe even add a different color and come in and do uh, the hearts as well with this, which would mean it would take almost exactly eight ounces to do this whole project. I think I am going to go ahead and just mix something with this, you guys. Let's go ahead and um, see what we can mix with this blue. Let's add a bit of the champagne gold. I don't know what it's going to do to it, but I don't have anything to lose. If the color's really ugly, we won't use it, and I'll go ahead and um use something different for this for their hearts but it would be kind of nice to have similar shades but um but a bit different this is kind of more of a goldish blue it's actually kind of pretty we could definitely get by with using this um for our hearts I don't want any pinks or anything. I decided I just want the blues and kind of a gold tones. This might be kind of more of a bluish steel color. And I think we'll stop at that. And then also I'm going to do one drop of the blue Casson Craft here. Kind of bring the color all together, kind of like what we did with the other one. Okay, this is what we've got so far. Let's see what this happens. Adding just a bit of blue in there. Okay, that's what we're going to do. You can see the gold and the blue in there, so that's actually kind of really pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and spray into my hearts here a bit. Hoping that this is going to be enough to do all of these. Let me do a little spray inside my cup here first, too. Let's see, here we go. Okay, you guys, so that's about all we're going to do right now. I see I have a little bit of a, um, kind of got in there, dripped a little bit, so let me clean this out real quick. So there we go, and I'm going to let this cure. So I think this was, that took eight ounces. For me to fill all of these up here, I might could have used one more ounce. Um, so what I decided I'm going to do is if I do want to fill them, I'll just come back with some clear resin. All right. Gosh, I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I'm, I've been wanting to do it for a while. And as soon as this is cured, I'll be back. In the meantime, I'm going to decide if I want to come in and fill in all these hearts after it's kind of sticky cured. Okay. Well, I will see you all then. See you soon. Hello everybody. Okay, I'm back. This is completely cured. I'm so excited to come in and take this out. I did not come in and fill these up full of the clear. Um, I still could come back in and do that, but for right now, I thought, well, you know, if they work um, just about half full here, I don't know that I need to come in and make it, um, you know, all the way to the top. So I'm going to just take this out now and see how it turned out. We'll get this main part out of here. See how the gold did. Hopefully it all um, will stick okay. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see any here on our mold. So the gold must have um, cured right to our resin, just like we wanted it to. So that's good. 
Okay. Good luck. I hope it turns out well. Here we go. Oh, gosh. How pretty. Oh, my gosh. What do you guys think? How pretty is this? I've got a few little air bubbles in here. Um, I'm not too surprised about that. I, I thought that might could happen. But I think if it's hanging up on a wall here with some little hooks, I really don't think that that's going to matter too much. You really don't even notice it from a distance here up close. You know, if you look at it too closely, that's where you can see the little bubbles here. You know, a couple here through the letters. But um, gosh, what do you guys think? What do you think of the colors of the blue? I know I'm kind of done a lot of blue lately, but, um, but the blue with the gold. I was afraid that, that I thought about doing black background. And uh, I just thought that was maybe just a bit too dark for what I wanted. Um, and I see here a couple places on my gold. I might just come in and touch it up. Um, some of the spots that are just kind of more uh, a little bit on the shallow side here. Um, not too many. Not too many. I think all of this looks great. Um, just on my family. And really just a couple little places right here. I'll probably touch that up. So now, let's take these out and see how they look. I tried to do colors that would kind of go together with this. So, let's see, you've got one side that's kind of, one side, oh, I never noticed that. Okay, so the side that was facing up is nice and glossy. The other side here is more of a matte. Okay, and actually, I guess if we're going to write on it uh, with a little Sharpie or something, we'll probably just keep the matte, the matte side. So let's take out, those will be for the girls, these will be for the boys, and I don't think I brought any of my jewelry making, like clasps and uh, links with me here to Oregon. So I might have to run down to the store, just to Walmart or something really quick and get something so that we can put this together. This kit, well, I shouldn't call it a kit. This mold doesn't come with anything to link these together. Okay, so what we're going to do is then we're going to take a boy. Um, we're going to look at January. And then I'm, gonna, I'm making this as a gift um, for somebody in my family. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take everybody that was born in January for that particular immediate family, okay? For um, the mom and the dad and then their children and their grandchildren. That's all that I'm including in this. So I will take all of the boys that were born in January and all of the girls and probably starting with the first of the month, they will hang with their names and the date under each month, okay? So, and then you just go through and you do that for each month. You might have some months where there's nobody at all that has a birthday that month, and there might be some that are, you know, <laughs> if you've got a lot of April babies, you might have it way down here. But um, I'm super excited to put this together and so what I'm going to do is um, go and get my things to link this together. I've got to figure out exactly how many girls and how many boys I've got in that family. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so uh, the mold comes with 12 of the round discs or charms and uh, 12 of the hearts. Okay, and I really don't think I'm going to need all 12 of either. But, um, but it's nice to know that you've got plenty, right? Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie and probably write out some names that you don't, don't have a whole lot of room here. You've got more on the boy little tags than you do on the ones I'm going to use for the girls to put a name and a number for the date. But, um, but I'm going to just write small. I have a cricket at home that doesn't help me here, and I haven't taken it out of the box yet. <laughs> I've had it for like two years, a cricket air too. And um, 
yeah. But I can see how something like that would be perfect for this. To print it all out, have the number, it would look all just so much nicer than me um, getting ready to handwrite it on here. Anyway, I'm going to get the supplies together, get the rest of these out of there, and I'll probably go ahead and write out all the names and dates. Um, you don't have to watch me do all that. And then we'll put it together, okay? So you can see what it looks like in the end. All right, everyone. Thank you, and I will see you back here in just a bit. Okay, everybody. Hi, I'm back and this is all cured. And what I did to save some time is I went ahead and I did 11 of the 12 months. I got my family that I wanted to put in here, all on here. And um, I did all of my girls in hearts and I did the boys in blue, in the rounds, I mean. And so what I'm gonna do, I'll show you really quick. I went to go find a, like a, um, a fine tipped, either a gold pen or black at just at like our local Kroger or Walmart. And um, didn't find exactly what I was looking for, but I did find this Pentel white. Okay, so I decided even though there's no white on this, I decided that this would be kind of a good pop of color um, and it would show up well. So what I did on these is I just went ahead and wrote it out. This is for um, Ashley. Okay, the hump kind of ran in there for the, the hole. But um, I kind of did that on purpose because I wanted to show you what you can do really quick if you mess up on this. Just take a paper towel, a little bit of alcohol. Basically, just one little spray of my 91% alcohol. And look, at you can just wipe this right off. Okay? Right off. Gives you a fresh slate. Um, so you can start over. And then I can just realize that I need to scoot this over a bit so that my H has room. Okay, so now I've got Ashley in here and the numbers 23. So what you do is you put the person's name and the day of the month um, and then you don't need to put the, the month, the actual month, because you're hanging it underneath that, um, that particular month where their birthday is, okay? I, I'm assuming this is all making sense to people. And... Um, Another thing is, is that my daughter brought to my attention, and I wasn't really thinking about it, is she said you, you better put them in order of age so that if you have a new baby come along, you're not having to take it all apart and, you know, according to date, okay? Because at first I was going to put them the soonest birthday at the top, working my way down, and she was correct in saying, no, you better start with the oldest person and the dates won't be in order but the age will be so you can add on when you need to, okay? So that was a great, great thinking there on her part. So what I did is I got some jump rings here. I've just got a couple of sizes. Um, you know, I'm not at home. I'm at kind of my second home, my home away from home uh, here in Oregon for right now. And so I just ordered a little jewelry kit on Amazon. And so I took a couple jump rings and I took this. I'm not a big jewelry making person, I hate to say. So I'm not real great at this, at the, this part of it. But what I did is I took one of these, one of these little pieces here and I stuck it through the hole. And this is what I'm doing is I'm just bending it up, bending it upright. It's, it's pretty bendable here. See how I just kind of poked it through. There's a little eye here, an eye hook kind of a thing attached to it. So it's not going to go all the way through the hole. Okay. So I bent it flush with the back. And then I'm going to take one of my rings. And I'm going to close it up. Whoops. I don't have my glasses on. So hopefully I'm going to close up. 
should have grabbed them real quick, but that's okay. I can do this part. Let's see, I know a lot of you probably, um, especially if you do UV resin and you make all kinds of jewelry, then it's going to be a piece of cake for you to put this together any old way you want to. Um, cause like I said before, it doesn't come with any kind of hardware for this. So what I have been doing is I just slide this on there. Oops, slide this on. Well, for crying out loud, it's much easier when I'm sitting at my desk with all my jewelry, <laughs> I mean, with all my stuff here. But anyway, I slide it on, and if you can see through my fingers, then I just fold it upright. Okay, so here's my little ring hanging down here, and then I'm just going to take my finger and just fold it up again here. And I found that on all those other all these other ones all along, but that's all it took, okay? All it took was just for me to do that with my fingers. I didn't even need to do it any, I didn't need to use a tool, okay? So there is that. This is the way, anyways, that I'm doing this particular one. We have no July birthdays in this month um, for the person I'm doing this for, and I am um, skipping February. There's also no February birthdays. So here is my January birthdays, okay? So I've done this together with you. I showed you how I did this part. And now what I do is, this is my oldest person as Melissa. I'm working my way down. I'm taking a larger of the two jump rings putting it in the top. I'm gonna to have to open this up just a bit, I think. I'm gonna put this through, through the top. And you wanna make sure you're paying attention that your name isn't upside down on these. Just gonna close this jump ring really quickly. Okay, that looks pretty good. Just wanna make sure it's tight in there. And then I'm going to take one of the smaller jump rings, put it through here. Oops. Keep dropping everything. And then I just need to get a, um, put one through the bottom of this one here. Can you imagine this is why I didn't uh, make this whole thing with you guys watching because it would have taken a while. It actually went together pretty quickly. My daughter, um, who's turning 16 in just a few days, has been great with helping me with her really young and healthy eyes. <laughs> so um, it went together pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm going to close this ring, right? Right. Put this together here. Try to close this one up. Did I already close that one? I think I did. So I want to, I didn't. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Close it, pinch it together a bit. Some of you may have already made one of these and you may have better ideas of how to do this. Um, I really would have liked to had some larger rings for this. Um, but I just had to order what I could get quickly there from Amazon. So, so now I'm connecting these two with a smaller ring. This might be where I have my daughter come in and help me if I can't get this together real quick and easy. She just can see it so well. I'm going to have her look at it real quick so it doesn't fall apart. Does that need to be done anymore? Here, will you go ahead and tighten it up? I'm going to have her just kind of fix that last one. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit and show you guys how cute this turned out. So when it's hanging up, you know, all of the, um, all of the little name tags and the dates are all going to show up just great. Uh, since this does come off so easily with the alcohol pen, I'm going to probably go ahead and take a spray of, um, well, probably Mod Podge or something like that, just to go over it all, make sure that it's on there and not just, you know, so it wasn't, it won't just rub off real easily. 
Okay. So, gosh, this was really a lot of fun. I'm kind of excited to do one for my own family. And, uh, and I think that, that you could just do so many different colors. So, yeah. Anyway, so this didn't take a whole lot of resin. What did we say? It took about eight. I would not, one thing I wouldn't do is on my mold, let's see, oh, I think I left it in the other room. The hearts, I filled these up kind of on purpose, a little fuller than I did these round ones, okay? So what I found out in making these is you definitely don't need these to be this thick. You see kind of how thick they are? You don't really need it to be that thick. You would be just just as easy doing this the thinner about half full in that mold and it would work just great and it's really a lot easier to get the jump rings on so there, there we go there we go it's all done it's got two holes here for hanging um i figured you know we can hang it here with a little chain or I also thought about just putting a couple of eye hooks, I mean those um, saw hooks on the back. So you can just kind of use your imagination how you want to do that and um, yeah, do it any old way you want to. And that one, I kind of need to squish that back on there a little tighter. There we go. I think it looks great. It was a lot of fun. And then once it's hanging up, it's not going to, these things aren't going to be falling around all the time like they are right now because every time I scoot the sign up it scoots up the pieces here but there we go all right let me know everybody what you think about this project let me know what kind of colors you might put together thank you for joining me I hope you had fun with this I hope that it encouraged you to maybe give this a try I'll uh, find the link to this mold and I'll be sure to get it in the in the description other than that have a great day great week. Have fun creating, and I will see you all next time.